Once the product of TV imagination, bionic technology is transforming lives for real. In Sydney, Australia, Mick Roffey is about to try the latest breakthrough in biomechanics, the bionic hand. I really did think it was science fiction, to be honest. But for me, it means I'll be able to carry stuff. I'll be able to pick stuff off, off the ground myself. Team designer Peter Abelfathy at the Royal North Shore Hospital has modeled the glove on the human hand's incredibly complex mechanisms. We've got 15 joints in the hand and there's no other part of the body that has that, has that many joints. It's part of our communication as, as well as being so much a part of our function. This is the first time the glove has been put to the test. After a car wreck left Mick paralyzed, he has nothing to lose and everything to gain. He can move his arm, but his hands and fingers are useless. Really basic things like make yourself a cup of coffee, if you know what I mean? Like they're the, some of the hardest things to do. If the bionic hand works, Mick will regain the ability to do the everyday tasks he once took for granted. Uh, I don't think you have much coffee left. I don't think you have coffee you be <laughs> being The thing I'd like most would be my um, fingers back so I could do anything, like as in I could catch a ball with my kids, I could play with them, I could make a cup of coffee, I could eat me dinner. This will go over your arm to house the motors, and then we just have to make the final adjustments for all the cables. We're about to see what this complex network of artificial tendons can do. Tiny motors will reel in polymer threads, giving Mick his finger movement. That's the theory. But whether he will have enough grip to get this apple to his mouth remains to be seen. The glove works. You get that's a big achievement. Well done. This is a new high in Mick's painstaking recovery. Is it worth it? <laughs> For now, the glove is controlled by computer, but soon Mick will control the bionic glove using a basic palm PC. And one day the bionic glove will respond to voice commands. We're going to see better, better devices working better over different parts of the body and helping people with different, different types of problems, not only in the hand, but in the knee, in the hip, etc. The bionic glove is a godsend for the victims of stroke, spinal cord injuries, and a range of paralyzing conditions. That's awesome, eh? And better than restoring just their hand movement, it'll give them back their independence. That's good. You need help. You have to ask for help for everything. And with the bionic glove, you might, you don't have to ask for help. You can do it yourself. So, to be honest, that means a lot to me, especially.